Imagine, if you will, that a four-year-old comes up to you, sits on your lap, and snuggles in close and says, Daddy, what's a codec? <laughs> How do you answer that question? Well, a codec, C-O-D-E-C, -E stands for compressor, decompressor. A codec is the mathematical way that we transcribe light, in the case of video, and sound, in the case of audio, transform it from its analog world, which is what our eyes and ears perceive, into a form that the computer can read. The computer, as you know, is composed of simply ones and zeros. So how do we convert light to ones and zeros, or how do we convert sound to ones and zeros? That is what a codec is for. A codec compresses it, the CO, and decompresses it so we can watch it back on our computer screens. Codecs are also called video formats. DV is a codec. HDV is a codec. AVC HD, AVC Cam, AVC Intro, ProRes, DVN, DNX HD, Cineform. These are all different mathematical ways of describing video to transform it from an analog world to a, a computer digital world. Now, different codecs do different things. For instance, HDV and H.264 and AVC HD take big, big, massively large video files and squeeze them down into really, really small spaces. They're optimized to create small files, but they throw away so much data that if you want the absolute best quality, these formats work against you, but they create small file sizes. You look at formats like Cineform and ProRes and the DNX HD, these create massively large files, but potentially much higher quality that render faster, output faster, and have higher quality playback. If you're doing green screen work, you don't want something which is really, really compressed. If you're in the field lugging tapes around, you want something that's as tiny as possible because you don't want to have to carry tons of stuff. So there's different codecs for different uses. One of the best questions that you can ask is to say, this is the project that I want to do. What's the best codec? Many times, producers pick the camera that they own, even though that camera is not the best one for their project. Instead, you want to pick the camera that creates the codec that gives you the best quality for your project. You're doing news, small file size is okay. You're doing theatrical, small file size will look terrible when blown up to an 80-foot screen. You want a codec that's got much greater quality, much bigger uh, file sizes and better looking images, more color information. Different codecs give you different results. And now, you know how to answer that four-year-old.